Okay, let's do multiplication and division algorithms. If you're reading this section 3.5, it's a good review of the properties of exponents. I don't cover those because you're expected to already know those from algebra class. So if you need a review, definitely review all these properties. Okay, we were learning lattice multiplication. So let's do 367 and multiply it by 974. So I need a three by three grid. And I put in all my diagonals here. So these diagonals, are going to be the same thing as lattice addition with the ones, tens, hundreds, place, etc. I'll put the 367 up top and the 974 to the side. And now I'm going to do the distributive property of multiplication. It's really over addition because so I'm going to multiply by the 7 first. That's 28. Then the six is 24, and then the three is 12. Seven times seven, 49, then 42, 21. 63, 54, 27. So I'm relying on my multiplication facts. And now just like lattice addition, I'm gonna go down the diagonals, but here I may have to regroup some. So I get an eight, like right here, I get 15, so that's a five, but I have to group one into the hundreds. So there's eight, 10, that's 14, 11, 15, and two is 17, 10 and five is 15, and a three. So the answer is three, five, seven, four, five, eight. I challenge you to watch this again and listen to my language when I'm saying, and notice how I was adding things. I just want to know if you notice little things. I'll give you a hint. Well, I'll tell you. I'm assuming you watch it again and you pause. If not, <laughs> watch it again and pause. And here's how I was adding things. So, when I got to here, I saw eight and I added a two because it made 10 and I got 14. So here, I had a seven and I did a eight and 15 and two is 17. And then here I added those first because that's a 10 and 10s are friendly. So I really look for groups of 10s when I go to add. So that's 10 and five is 15. If I reviewed my language, maybe I did a different, but I do know I did that part. 10s, friends. Okay, repeated subtraction. We did this on a lab. I'll do a quick one here. Let me build one. Let's just do 17 divided into 493. Well, I'm pretty good at multiplication and number of facts, so I'm gonna choose 20. 20 times 17 is 340, because what I kind of do is I go, okay, two times 17 is 34 times 10. So now I'm going to subtract three, five, one. Well, I don't get 10 17s in here. So what do I know? I know what four of them is. I know it's 68 because what I did was I doubled the 34. I'm going to subtract. That's five. 
that's 85. And let's see, 85 is 17 more than 68, so that means this must be 5 17s. 29. I really like this because it starts to build number sense with kids. How numbers are related. You know, I knew that four times 17 was 68 because two times 17 is 34, so I doubled both. Then I noticed that 85 was one group of 17 more than 68. So I knew that five groups of 17 was 85. Okay, I'm gonna do a problem with base five multiplication. And no, there's no way I'm memorizing this multiplication table. I'll reason it out. So I'm gonna do a base five multiplication. I'm gonna do four, three, base five times, let's see, how about four, no, let's do three, two base five, and I'm gonna use lattice multiplication. So I have a two by two. So four, three, remember space five, three, two, base five. Maybe those base fives kind of complicate this. So I really have to concentrate that I'm doing base five. Okay, two times three is six. So when I do this, okay, that's a five and a one. So that's gonna get regrouped into the next place value. So this is one and then one five. Two times four is eight. That gets regrouped as a one. So this is really the one three base five. Three times three is nine. That's five and a four. That's four and a one. Now, three times four is 12. Let's do that over here. Okay, that's 10 plus two, that's two groups of five, so that gets regrouped as a two. So there's that two here, and then the regroup two is there. Now I'm going to add down my diagonals. So this is a one. Well, four and one is a five, hey, that tells me right there I'm regrouping a five and I'm gonna have a three left over. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's regrouped with a zero and one, two, three is three. So this is equal to three, zero, three, one, base five. Try some of these. They're really good mental uh, problems for you to do because it will challenge you when you look at all of these regroupings of fives. You know, try like a base four or even a base six. And that's it.